heartfelt farewell event at the Indian Consulate in New York, Council General Ranthi Jaiswal bid adieu to the vibrant Indian community and leaders as he prepares to conclude his term in New York and transition to a new role in Delhi as a spokesperson for the Ministry of External Affairs. The gathering, attended by esteemed community members and leaders, including Padma Shri recipient Dr. Sudhir Parekh, served as a platform for Jess Fall to express his gratitude for the unwavering support extended towards enhancing India-US relations. He acknowledged the pivotal role played by community members in elevating bilateral ties and fostering stronger connections between the two nations. Jaiswal's wife, Dr. Abha Jaiswal, also conveyed her appreciation for the support received from the Indian community during their tenure in New York. The event was graced by Edward Mummelstein, Commissioner of International Affairs in New York, Professor Indrajit Saluja, notable chef Vikas Khanna, amongst others. As Council General Jaiswal moves on to his new role, the farewell event underscored the positive influence he had on the Indian community and the significant strides made in strengthening India-US relations during his tenure in New York. Take a look. Namaste, we are at the Indian Consulate. This time, I am hosting a farewell reception to say goodbye to all our community members who are not just community members but part of my larger family. They have given excellent support. Sudhir Bhai has given excellent support. And all our friends, our community members, have given excellent support for India-US relations to fly higher and higher always. I'm taking back fondest of memories of our association, of our friendship, and we'll continue to build on them in the days ahead. Thank you. Well, uh, 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 this is Dr. Sudhir Parikh. Uh, uh, We'll miss our uh, uh, very beloved, uh, popular uh, uh, Council General uh, Randirji. Randirji, we will definitely will miss you. You have done uh, such a great uh, uh, leadership here. I mean, uh, uh, almost you know, last two years there were over two, three, two hundred, over two hundred events uh, happen in this consulate, and it is completely unprecedented. Presidential, yeah, and uh, it, it, it was a great thing and uh, you brought the uh, con consulate to the community and the community appreciated that and uh, you can always count on us and uh, we're going to be friend forever and uh, we'll cherish our friendship and we'll cherish our, uh, yeah, our memories uh, of last three years. Thank you very much. Good evening viewers, uh, it gives me immense pleasure to say uh, that we will meet again. Uh, India and New York, India and the US ties are very strong. It's been an amazing journey in uh, New York. Uh, this place has not been new to me. I've stud studied here and now had the opportunity to teach at the City University. Uh, this is a crossroads um, of the world and uh, we will definitely be back. Um, and uh, I thank you for all the help hope and, uh, and uh, support provided to me. Thank you so much and we look forward to seeing you again. Thank you. Hi everyone, Chef Vikas Khanna here. Always a pleasure to be at Indian Consulate. I think Mr. Randeer Jaiswal has united all the diaspora and Indian community in New York, Tri-State and in America. I think because of him, we could connect and do so many projects to creating perfume lines, to chocolate, to spices, and also to represent us to the world. I think that three glorious years he's gifted us has totally helped us as Indians to come together. Thank you, Mr. Jaspal. Today's occasion is one of mixed feelings. It's a bittersweet moment, if I may, for our beloved Honorable Consul General. He's completing his tour of duty in New York. And I'm sure you'd all agree with me if I were to use a sporting analogy to describe his innings as a fantastic one. Absolutely outstanding. Yes. <laughs> Sir, you've had a profound impact, not just on the consulate, on our outreach, on our functioning, but also on the larger Indo-US partnership, particularly in the northeastern part of the United States. We're organizing consular camps, visa and passport camps across all 10 states, or celebrating India 75 in grand style. 
We are joining 500 Indian Americans at 2 o'clock in the morning in New Jersey for launching niche Indian products here in the continent. We are expanding the horizons of our commercial engagements or rekindling the historic and the social <coughs> connect that India and United States share. Sir, you have not just excelled, but you have set a new bar in every, in each aspect. With your warmth, with your energy, dynamism, and with your generosity, we have made new friends, and we have forged, forged on old partnerships. And many of those friends are here with us today, not only to bid farewell to you, sir, but also to wish you the very best, for you are going for one of the most coveted assignments in Delhi as the Ministry spokesperson. Sir, so, it is now my honor and privilege, sir, to invite you to stage to address our friends here. I've had the privilege of serving in New York for three and a half years. I've served in the city earlier as well, from 2010 to 13. Each time that you come or anybody comes to the city, you mingle with people here, you transact business, you appreciate how vibrant the city is and how much it contributes to global conversation and global prosperity. New York has several names. Some call it Big Apple, some call it Maximum City. I call it the new Silk Route of the world. I came here during COVID times. It was very difficult for all of us across the world. It was even more challenging for this city. But let me tell you, since May of 2020, this consulate has been open to people, to our stakeholders, and it is a fact. It is something that we take deep pride in. I must thank, as I sign off from here, I must thank all my colleagues there. Come to the consulate since each and every day, seven days a week since May of 2020. I'm not sure, Marita, how many consuls, consulates here can boast of that record or government offices or private sector offices, but we have been there. Years from now, when I also get a time to tell our story, or my story, I'm sure I'll dedicate a chapter to this commitment that I've seen in the team at the consulate. In my time, I tried my level best to make economic diplomacy the centerpiece of our broader engagement at the consulate. If there was a conversation happening on business in any part of New York or the Northeast of the United States, we were there. If there was a trade fair happening at Javed Center or in Philadelphia, we were there. If there was anything that was happening on startup innovation, we were there. So that was our approach new dynamism to our work as to how we can strengthen our connect with this country through economic means. India is transforming itself very fast. We are reforming in each and every segment of our society, bureaucracy included. And to reform our bureaucracy, we have initiated what is called Mission Karma Yogi. It is to make the bureaucracy take the bureaucracy from rule-based to role-based. One which addresses the key concerns of people and one which has a problem-solving approach. That was how I approached public service delivery in this consulate. Therefore, today, even as we speak, on a daily basis, we have zero pendency. The diaspora here, I have only nice things to say. You are amazing, a lot of people. I was here in the city 14 years back. You were doing very well then, but the story today is altogether different. As India grows leaps and bounds, we will count on your support to take us forward in our Amrit Kal to make India a developed country by 2047 that we desire for. And of course, my stay in this city also will be memorable to me and to many others. For I got a chance to celebrate our freedom, our democracy, India's nation making at 75. And 25 years hence, in 2047, when we are going to look back to all that we have done to celebrate India, you know, many of the reflections of New York, the program, the meaningful engagement that we have, will fill our minds and imagination. In this very hall, we've celebrated 
of sporting achievements, conversation with the great Kapil Dev, his swashbuckling 175 in 1983 World Cup, to the depth and richness of Sangam literature in Tamil, to the connection that Rabindranath Thakur has with Urbana Champagne campaign, and a lot more. That was just to give you a flavor of the kind of things we did, we've done here to celebrate India's nation making an onward march. And of course, it is something that you take a lot of pride in, and I say this with all humility. It is very rare for any diplomat to get an opportunity in any part of the world to embrace three stalwarts. I got that opportunity as I celebrated India's democracy in Onward March. I, I was honored to unveil the statue of Mahatma Gandhi. I was honored to unveil the bust of Vivekananda here in New Jersey. And I was honored to unveil the statue of Rabindranath Thakur. That is something that is very truly <laughs> And of course, I would like to thank the Met Museum for putting our spectacular Buddhist exhibition. Nothing of that sort has happened in the city since 1986 when we celebrated the Festival of India in America. And of course, the high point was the historic visit of the Prime Minister. It was a visit to Washington, D.C., but it was a visit which was celebrated in each and every nook and corner of the United States. <laughs> and taking back all this of memories, my associations, close associations, very warm associations of the knowledge partnership that we have with this great country starting in 1956 and what we are doing today in 2023 and beyond. As we move forward, simply put, the world of 21st century is going to be governed by two big trends digital technology and what we do on sustainability. And if we have to get these two trends right, India US partnership remains critical, not just for ourselves or for you, but for global good and for global prosperity. And of all the things that I am going to miss, apart from your warmth and friendship, I miss Central Park and its burning <laughs> And in that I miss all the languages of the world that you get to hear within a kilometer. That is something which is very special. I connect it, connect with it more because I come from India where every 50 kilometers there's a new language, there's a different language. This side of the river that I stay on Gandak has a different language. On the other bank of the Gand of Gandak, that, the river that flows in my city, we have a different language. So that is, that is the New York I am taking in my heart, form, vibrant, and best. My wife joins me in thanking all of you for everything that you've done for me, for this consulate, and for building India US relations. And as they say, and as this yeah. digital wall says, fear me later. Thank you. Thank you. Is this an honor to be able to speak about Randir and Abba? about India. What we have just heard is a little bit of what he has done, of what they have done for their country, <coughs> the city, and all around, because you have quite a few states where you represent your country. Not like my case, I only have New York. Peru has quite a few consuls general, and I'm lucky to have one state. And do a lot of work, and my work has been easier because of you also. As the president, former president of the Society of Foreign Consuls, Randil has helped us in many ways, not only as a vice president of the committee of the society, but also hosting here the International Women's Day. We were lucky, and the Indian lady that was an awardee is somewhere here. Yes. Where is she? Yeah. Uh, there. Okay. And we had 18 ladies, I think, that were awarded uh, this recognition from our own countries and from the society for their work and what they do for other women, for their society, for their countries. And that it has supported this. And hopefully in the future it will be the same. But what I have to say is that what you have said is just a little bit. And we could have been hearing more stories and more information from your deputy and from you. It's such an honor, I mean, that you are recognized by all these people Indians, Europeans, Latin Americans, like my case, diplomats from so many countries, plus people from your own country and authorities in New York. This recognition is because you deserve it, because both of you deserve it. 
the work you have done is very special. And as an ambassador and consul general of Peru, I have to recognize it. Um, and I hope that being the spokesperson for your ministry in the future will bring other very important responsibilities that you will know how to approach. The experience you have is fantastic. And I'm sure that your ministry knows what they have done and who they have chosen very well, on, in my view, and I'm sure all of you will agree. And congratulations. We will miss you. It was my great honor to welcome you when you came here. And I share with the New York community that we have never had a Consul General. Because I've been visiting this building since 1967, when I was 12. And we've never had a Consul General who had gone and visited, prior to coming here, to 28 countries, meeting heads of state, because he was the right hand to the President of India. I said, that's a very special gem in this gem. And of course, the real gem is right next to him, Dr. Robert. <laughs> I want to thank you for what you've done, because those of us who come from, the, from born in India, we, we want to make sure that India is America's best friend. And Ranju and I have worked, and you know, she did the Diwali stamp, and Thanks, and I see Lalit and Professor Saluja and, and, and Sanjeev, uh, who, were, who were of great help. But the fact is that the relationship between India and the United States is the critical relationship. If democracy is going to succeed, it will succeed if India and the United States are steadfast friends. The Boston Tea Party, that was Indian tea bopping in the Boston Harbor in 1773. Lord Cornwallis, when he lost George Washington, he went to India, and 5,000 Indians died to welcome him. You are going from this position to the most important position that India has in diplomacy. If you were a White House press secretary, you would be telling the truth with a political flavor. But as spokesman for the ministry, you're going to have to tell the truth with a diplomatic flavor. <laughs> and you're uniquely qualified because you also have executive experience being with the president. Yeah. So we're lucky that you, you were here in New York. We're lucky that you've gone to Columbia University School of Law, in fact, many, many times, where India's constitutional, constitution's author studied there. So the bonds between India and the United States, we rely upon you to make them stronger. Well, All the best. Mr. President, invite and reachable diplomat to the Indian community, the great supporter of the community, and I had the opportunity to work with him by connecting to the local senators and congressmen in strengthening India-US relationship. COVID के समय से आए थे तो काफी समय तक तो पर्सनल मुलाकात नहीं हुई, but हमेशा उन्हें बहुत ही उत्साहित पाया और उन्होंने हमेशा हर समुदाय को हर व्यक्ति को इतना समर्थन दिया, इतना प्रोत्साहन दिया, हमेशा प्रोत्साहन, हमेशा बढ़ावा और हमेशा भारत की प्रगति और भारत अमेरिका के संबंधों में कैसे सुधार हो सके I have personally worked very closely with all council generals in New York for the last 50 years. I want to put it in the record that Jaiswalji has been the best so far. He has always was receptive to new ideas and programs for the wider section of our community and for improving US India relations. Two areas I want to specifically compliment Jaiswalji for reaching out to the community, wider section of the community, and also for hosting uh, uh, Indian students at the consulate. Like hundreds of, if not thousands of people who were touched by you, I have been touched by your humility, down to our personality, and always concurring with our ideas, and 
brought out of your ways to enhance them by serving people of India, Indian Americans, and mainstream. We commend Ambassador Jaswal during his tenure as Consul General of India in New York on his continuing efforts towards outreach and engagement among all sectors of the Indian community in his jurisdiction. We are greatly indebted to the services provided by him in leading the consulate during COVID. I found the Miss Society is very warm, very friendly person and people person and he always invited us as a Muslim community member and also from Dauri Bora community, many events in the uh, consulate. Uh, we have talked with excellent relationship with the government agencies and community based organizations in New York. You always have for us when we need it. We will just want to call, call on him. Our Council General uh, Jaiswalji has always been proactive in both, whether it is uh, foreign affairs or the community services as such. Jaiswalji, we didn't understand how we can communicate with you and how we can communicate with you. तो ये कह रहे हैं ना कि हमने आपका फैन क्लब ज्वाइन कर लिया है जस्ट कम्युनिकेट द एसेंस वीकेंड्स और लेट इन द नाइट इट्स ऑलवेज अवेलेबल व्हाट आई हैव सीन इन द लास्ट मोर देन 3 इयर्स दैट व्हेनेवर वी नीड यू ही इज ऑलवेज देयर ही हैज अ पॉजिटिव एटीट्यूड ही ऑलवेज थिंक्स अबाउट हाउ थिंग्स कैन बी डन एंड हाउ थिंग्स कैन बी डन सूनर एंड फास्टर He has always, you know, what he always thinks about Bharat and how he can help people here. Bharat is settled in New York and in USA. I will miss hearing from him his deep knowledge on a broad range of topics: religion, culture, history, business, tourism, cuisine, archaeology, to name just a few. I will miss his kindness and generosity. To sum it up, Andhiji has the intellect of Einstein and the compassion of Mother Teresa. He's a very generous. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you for all your support. To you all the best. And wish you the best success in your endeavors. All the best, Andhiji. As they say, to meet and part is the way of life. To part and meet. So my name is Edward Mermelstein. I'm the Commissioner for International Affairs for the City of New York. And um, I'm here to uh, say goodbye to my friend and colleague, um, Council General Jaiswal. Uh, unfortunately, um, he is leaving us in New York and we're going to get a new Council General, but he has been a true partner, someone who was a real pleasure to work with. And uh, we look forward to meeting our new Council General in January uh, from India and um, looking forward to visiting India where I will uh, hopefully get to see our Council General um, uh, when, when I arrive. Thank you so much. Uh, this is uh, Professor Indrajit Saluja, editor of the Indian Panorama. Good evening to the viewers of uh, ITV. I'm here at the consulate. It's a sad occasion and it's a happy occasion, whichever way one looks at it. Our Consul General, Ambassador Randhir Jai Sawalji, would be relinquishing charge here and going over to Delhi as a spokesperson of Ministry of External Affairs which is a very, very important position. In one way, his going will is saddening us, making us sad. At the same time, we are happy that he is going to occupy a very, very important position. And we would be happy to see him almost every day on TV channels all over the world. So I wish Mr. Jaiswal and his wife, Abha Jaiswal, and the entire family all the best as they go to Delhi and I'm sure they would be carrying sweet memories of this place as we carry the very very sweet memories of the wonderful family and of the wonderful husband and wife Randhirji and Abhaji. So let's enjoy this evening with uh, Mr. Jayaswal and uh, Abha Jayaswal.
and make it a memorable occasion. Thank you so much. Uh, Namaskar ITV viewers and thank you Dr. Sudhir Parekh. Your ITV gold is always there to cover every event. Today we have gathered at Indian Consulate to say goodbye to our dear, dear Consul General and a dear friend at personal level, Sri Randir Jaiswalji. And Khushi ki baat to ye hai, he is going as a spokesperson of a greatest democracy in the world, that is India. But, uh, and uh, during his tenure here, I would call him 24-7 Consul General. He was always there. Unko hamesha Bharat ka chintan rehta tha. That is what I loved about him. वो न दिन देखते थे न रात देखते थे कभी कभी तो मिडनाइट को कॉल आता था जगदीश भाई ऐसा है क्या कर सकते हैं एंड ही बिलीव इन मेकिंग थिंग्स हैपन करना है तो जल्दी करना है और अभी करना है सो रणधीर जी वी आर गोइंग टू मिस यू एंड विश यू ऑल द बेस्ट इन योर फ्यूचर एंड यूअर्स नमस्कार सो थैंक यू आई टी वी गोल्ड एंड ऑल द व्यूअर्स डॉक्टर पारिक थैंक यू आई जस्ट वॉन्ट यू सेंड अ नोट ऑफ अप्रिसिएशन टू our consul general uh, randeer jaiswal ji from the art of living foundation and personally uh, randeer ji has been such an advocate for indian culture and bringing together the community under the under the auspices of the consulate he's always had a welcome uh, welcome attitude but the doors for the consulate have always been open be it yoga that the art of living foundation hosted every thursday or showing the india final match starting with 3:30 giving coffee and a whole breakfast at 4 now if the result would have been different it would have been even more enjoyable or hosting just a week back an ayurveda conference really talking about the health and heritage of how actually the practices in ancient india can help the modern world so he is truly like a poster child for what it means to be an indian emissary in the west and of course we are going to feel a little remiss that he won't be with us in new york city but at the same time we are so excited for him to represent india to the world and really be the spokesperson for india uh this is wishing randhir ji and abha ji only the best uh from the foundation from the art of living foundation we just wish him well and personally i can't wait for our roads to cross again and Thank you so much for all your advocacy for everything that is good about the world and representing humanity and the best of India in the maybe the greatest city in the world New York City thank you so much